crocodile the, comes out. And it was refreshing. I just say no. Yeah. I'm going to be sitting here. We're Simone and Giovanni, and over the last three years, we quit our jobs, moved to Mexico with our dog, got married, and began our journey to visit all 32 states of Mexico. In today's episode, we're exploring the exclusive community of Puerto Aventuras, a hidden gem just 25 minutes south of Playa del Carmen. As more foreigners seek refuge from crazy inflation and look for their forever home in the beautiful Mexican Caribbean, luxurious communities like Puerto Aventuras are popping up all over the region. Join us as we share a taste of what life is really like inside this luxury community. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. We are down at the Colectivo stop again because we're about to grab one of the vans to head south. Gracias! We like to party. We're actually headed to a little, very exclusive town that we've never been to before. Yes. We'll see you there in about 40 minutes, I think. Yeah, right. <laughs> we are here in Puerto Aventuras. So the thing with the van is you just get dropped along the highway. So now we basically, the ocean is that side. The ocean is that side. We have to cross the highway to be able to like access Puerto Aventuras. The security here in Puerto Aventuras is quite strict. You cannot get inside like, oh, I'm just going to go to Puerto Aventuras. You have to prove that you have a reservation or work here. Yeah. So like we were saying earlier, this is a very exclusive neighborhood because no one can just pass through. You have yeah. to have a reason to be here. So to kind of like fit the vibe of Puerto Aventuras, we've actually got a golf cart rental for the next two days, which is so convenient. You can rent bicycles, but it gets so hot here in the middle of the day. So we've got a nice little snazzy golf cart. We're just about to go check in and pick it up. And then we're on our way to our hotel. And then we're on our way to our hotel. Hola, hola, buenos días. Todas las calles de Puerto Aventuras pueden entrar con el carrito. Wow, look at that cool ride. Okay, so we're all set with our cute little golf cart and we're headed to our hotel now. Yeah, we rented this golf cart from Bimari, uh -huh. our rental. And yeah, the owners are super friendly. Let's vamanos! Our first impressions, this place is beautiful. You can see the houses. So thanks to Giovanni's wonderful golf drive, golf cart driving skills, we have made it to our little hotel, which we're super excited about. Cheers, Wafit. So we have now officially checked in. Our place is very cute, very cozy. We've got a bathroom. And then just back here is where you're going to find a toilet and a shower. We've got the main bedroom. We've got two double beds, which is amazing. I'm going to sleep in one. Giovanni's going to sleep in one. And we're going to spread ourselves out. Um, Why? Hello, darkness, my old friend. So this is the best part, right? So we come out here. We are going to be grabbing a breakfast and having it out here tomorrow morning, I believe. We've got some sun chairs. And then you come down the steps. And we have got a natural pool. I can't even tell you how many fish I've seen here in, seen in here already, like bright blue ones. So we'll be swimming in there. But we've also actually got a normal pool over there. And then we've just got the most beautiful view of the marina. Wow, look at that. That's so beautiful. I'm so excited. We're eh? so, so excited to wake up for sunrise. Yeah. To see the sunrise on the water. Yes. Wow, these houses, you guys, this is something else. Let's go, let's go. Hey, let's do it. Man, I'm so grateful that we've got a golf cart as opposed to bicycles. Like we said, it's so hot here in the middle of the day. So the fact that we've got some some shade because of the roof is very beneficial for my very pale skin and the fact that we don't have to sweat our bums off. Oh, we've got the fuss and the furious over here. <laughs> I used to drive golf cars in a hotel. Yeah, that was one of your jobs. Yeah, one of my first hotel jobs. Yeah. Before we get to the scene there, we just want to grab some schnackaroos because we haven't had much to eat today. Cheetos mix? Yeah, Cheetos mix? Yeah. <laughs> this 
area is far bigger than what we originally anticipated. It probably would have taken us a good 45 minutes to an hour to walk here and it took us 15 minutes to drive here. Now we're going to find that cenote that it's on like on the things to do in Puerto Aventuras. If you didn't know that there was a cenote here, you would never know that there's a cenote here. Literally, this is the entrance. Just right, right next to the Palapa. But there's barely even a sign. So if you didn't know, now you know. It's right here by the Palapa. This is like a little um, like pathway. Who knows? There's, there's absolutely no signage here. We're literally just walking through the mango, mangroves, hoping for the best, hoping to not encounter a crocodile. Simon is always exaggerating all the time. Giovanni tells me that there's definitely no croco crocodiles here, but I don't know so much. Oh gosh, look where we are. Wow. Wow, this is very cool. This is the cinema there. Yeah. Oh, interesting. There's actually a Mayan ruin still preserved in this area. It was used like a like a port of trading back in the days. Okay. Coming from Cozumel, I would say. Probably. Playa Carmen. Yeah. Well, if you guys know anything about the Riviera Maya, you'll know that sargasm has become a massive issue here pretty much all year round now. That's, that's the dried up sargasm. The fresh sargasm is this light brown. And then as it sits in the sun, it gets darker and darker and you can see yeah, how crunchy that is. <laughs> so it looks like this is actually also still part of the cenote. there. This. I'm not sure if it's the cenote or is the, the beach because it's connected to the ocean. There's no signage or anything around here. It's basically all of these homes behind us are just private homes. We're assuming that where we are right now is open to the public. Okay. I've decided that I'm gonna hop in. It actually looks quite nice and there's been no signs of crocodiles. The way we're talking about the crocodiles now, I think is a big joke. I don't think that there's crocodiles here, but that's just something that Giovanni read somewhere. Is it deep? No, no, I'm actually standing. Very refreshing. I'm going to get inside as well. Yeah, the water is beautiful and super, super clear. Yeah, I'm like, We have our dip in the water already and it was refreshing. The only thing is there's like no lifeguards or anything like that. So, I mean, you've got to be an experienced swimmer just for safety reasons. But I mean, it's completely free. There's no one here. It's amazing. I would truly, truly love to, to see the inside of these homes. They are really, really beautiful. Yes. I told you. No, 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 no. Let's just get this straight. I told you and you were like, eh, stop it. You see? We were entirely wrong. I'm just watching for crocodiles. What we just swam in was an inlet. We have found the cenote. We are, however, definitely not going to be swimming because it. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 yeah, just now a crocodile That's comes out and. Okay, no, but we're going to show the people the cenote. Don't want to be eaten by There you go, very nice. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what will what will you do if you actually get in an encounter with a, with a crocodile. So do you, you know? Say your last phrase, honestly. They're very fast. Really. Crocodiles are actually more dangerous than sharks. Like shark, you can punch them in the eye. Crocodiles, nah. Crocodile will just chomp you, boy. He's driving us around. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Gracias. Good job. Let's vamos! Woo! We don't actually have an end destination in mind. We're just going to drive a bit and then we're going to go find somewhere to eat. Because I know Giovanni, when he starts to get hungry, he starts to get cranky. And no one wants a cranky Giovanni, do we? Who we'll say that? <laughs> wow, look at that. Show us your parking skills. No. That wasn't too bad, was it? You ready? Hey, okay, yes. We're going to find a place that it's called Italian Bakery and Deli. Italian. They have focaccia. They have focaccia. Oh. Should we sit somewhere yeah. here? Outside, yes. We'll, should we put this on the... Because uh, I think it's quite uncomfortable. So we got a very nice looking cappuccino. We got the focaccia that we ordered and the chocolatin or chocolatina and looks very very nice just gets like an 8 out of 10 i'd say yeah, yeah. 
Gracias. 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 Currently going into the summer season, which means that avocados and mangoes are in abundance and they're usually delicious and juicy. So yeah, I was trying to see if anyone's got that. Mango. And a mango. Something that is very different here as opposed to going to like the big tourist hotspots like Playa del Carmen, Cancun, Sulum and everything. No one has tried to sell us anything. Everyone is just in their store, carrying on with their lives. It's a very, very low key vibe down here. You don't have anyone like on top of you trying to sell anything, which I love. These are all restaurants and little stores. Tons of places to eat here. Oh, and there's the dolphins again, just over there. We don't necessarily support it. I don't know if you guys have ever watched a documentary by Richard O'Barry, it's called The Cove. If you want your eyes to be opened up, watch that seems like there's like quite a few of the uh, stores closed i i will assume maybe they open early or, only on, the or only on the weekends so our hotel is somewhere over there and this is where we were earlier that's the scene out there with the crocodiles and this is the inlet that we were swimming in all right and now we're going for another ride somehow i ended up as the passenger princess again Oh, and we made it back to the hotel. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to our humble abode. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> and someone told us about a um, sunset lookout point. So we're going to go and catch the sunset there. Like it's a standing place. She's got a seat on this random little entrance over here is where we've come in i think it's open to the public i don't know there's not a lot of signage around here we're just hoping that we don't get locked in here but this this seems like the only place that we can come in to go and see that sun that sunset point wow can we take a moment for these beautiful beautiful boats short of going through someone's private property i don't know how to get to the sunset point it, I yeah. mean, yeah, that's just closed off by private homes and we've walked in loops. But if you guys have been to Puerto Aventuras before and you know how to get to that sunset point, let us know in the comments. Uh, I mean, we couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Literally since January of 2022, we made the commitment that we're going to try and meditate every morning as the first thing that we do. It's something that we've stuck with for about 18 months now i can say that my nervous system is definitely calmer i'm definitely more present in the moments it is a habit that i wish to carry throughout the rest of my life they obviously specialize in waffles we love waffles so we're going to be getting some waffles muchas gracias gracias amigo eh? We're back in our room now and we're actually going to utilize this little natural rock pool. Are you getting? Oh. It's clear though, hey? Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. The perfect temperature. Yeah. Hey? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> You know, we were mentioning yesterday that there's not a lot of like activities to do, but there is a cenote park located just like a kilometer outside of Puerto Aventuras. It's called Canton Chi. Something that I can highlight from that park is the underground cave, which is was, oh, was so a highlight cool. of experience. It was was great. We have meals included as well. Our tour guide was like excellent. So now that we've had breakfast and we've had a little swim here, we're gonna actually go and try find a beach. Are you, are you driving or am I the passenger princess again? You choose. Okay. Well, we found the entrance to the beach. Yeah, which if you don't follow the very few signs that there are, you'll never find it. It is literally like the most random, tiny little alleyway. It smells quite fishy, which is telling us that there's probably a lot of sargasm, but we'll see. Natural kind of like rock pools, which is awesome. It's keeping the sargasm out mostly.
as we were mentioning, the sargassum situation in this region is unfortunately bad. But I mean, as Simon said, these rock formations are helping to at least the water be clean. Where is the towel? I didn't bring it. Again. <laughs> I think one of the major benefits of coming to this beach is that it is dead quiet. I think because of the mission to get inside the complex and if you don't have a reservation, I don't know what is the process if you just want to come and see the complex as a, as a walk-in. We need to investigate a little bit more about it. Yes. Time on the beach is done. As we promised, we are going to go to Puerto Aventura's town because yes. we also need to show the locals because I'm local. So on the other side, those are all hotels. They'll try and tell you as a non-hotel guest that you can't be on their beach, but like Giovanni said, beaches are public here. So if they try to tell you that, just say no. Yeah. I'm going to be sitting here. The Italian restaurant we ate at yesterday here and then across the road. This is the sign you've got to look out for. And then you walk this way. And then straight up this pathway and a little bit to your right and down. We are actually going to go to Puerto Ventura's town. The thing is like the golf cars we have rented, you cannot take it out from the complex. But besides that, literally right outside the complex, you've got like the main Cancun Tulum highway. You can't drive a golf cart on a highway. So we're yeah. just going to be walking. So we're just going to go outside from the main gate. And Bob's your uncle. Right off the bat, you can see it is wildly different on the other side of the highway. It's like a, like to the opposite side of the spectrum, yeah. right? <laughs> well, it seems like everything is closed early for food, so I, I'm, I'm not sure where we're going to get something to eat right now. I mean, of course, inside the complex, but I wanted to try something local, local here. This one is also closed for some reason. And if you land in the Cancun airport, head straight into Puerto Aventuras and straight back to Cancun. No offense, but you can't say you've been to Mexico because that's that's not authentic Mexico. This is authentic Mexico. And that's that's an important part to integrate. Uh, see, Puerto. Okay. It's, it's important to also integrate yourself as a tourist that come and visit in the local areas because also you get so much from the local, the culture, and also you support them. I got a taco de pastor, and I'm assuming this is salsa picante. It's super picante. Is it super, super picante? Oh, that's puro habanero. So that means you want one, two drops, that's enough. <laughs> Not bad. Hello. Was that, was, was really nice, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, not bad at all. Giovanni stopped and spoke to one of the security guards here and asked if there's any way to enter the complex without having a reservation for a hotel and he said no you need a reservation what you would have to do if you wanted to just come in here for the day call up any one of the the restaurants make a reservation the restaurant will then send you a QR code and with that QR code you actually are able to enter so yeah, if you wanted to come for the day, there's a little a little loophole. That yeah, in the main scanners. entrance, the, the security people, they have some like scanners. tablets and scanners. So you scan it, you, your information is already there. Wow. So <gasps> oh, I, I wish we could show you, but there's a guy on a paddleboard with his dog sitting at the front of the paddleboard. <laughs> I think if we had to redo this trip, something we would have definitely scheduled in would be going on the paddle boards to like see all of the houses here because other than that you can't really see them unless you go on yeah. a boat of course. Tomorrow we're headed back home to Playa del Carmen to see our little cheeky boy. So do we think that Puerto Aventuras is better than Playa del Carmen? Well it really depends what you're looking for. So if you are coming down to this region of Mexico and you are looking to really just enjoy the Caribbean be on the water, you're looking for peace and quiet, you're looking to do nothing but just be in and around the water. Puerto Aventuras is amazing, it's quiet, it's safe, it's beautiful, it's yeah. perfect. Yeah, but I mean, if you are looking for some more excitement, like you can go to Canton Cheese, Cenote Park, we totally recommend that. Going to Playa del Carmen for a day trip because you will have more options to integrate um, more of the cultural aspect of Mexico. I mean, Playa del Carmen is super authentic Mexico, but I mean, if you're looking for something like like more local and also more like dining or local options, Playa del Carmen will be the option. Yeah. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel. And that being said, we'll see you in the next episode. Hasta, Hasta luego. luego.
our number one priority was travel. That was the right thing for us in the beginning of our journey, but I was getting sick a lot. Yeah. And we were, we were not finding that much pleasure in traveling so hectically the way that we used to. We're in no rush. Our goal will always be to see all 32 states of Mexico, yeah. but it doesn't have to be in the period of, of a year, two years. It could be 10 years. Mexico is a forever place.